Hi, my name is Alexander Smith, and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. Today, we're going to be covering how to create drawing views of individual solid bodies when working with a multi-body part file. When creating a detailed drawing of a multi-body part in SolidWorks, it is quite common to require drawing views of individual solid bodies that leave out the rest of the bodies in the part. This is usually the case when other bodies obstruct the view of features on a body that we want to detail. So the goal is to create a drawing view where the features of that body are not obstructed. There are three main methods to achieve these individual body drawing views, and I'm going to show each of them in this video. The part file I'll be working with today is a 3D model of a unique structural element of interlocking wooden brackets known as dogong, specifically from the Fo Guang Temple in China. It was designed as a multi-body part as opposed to several parts within an assembly as it made creating the model easier. First up, I'd like to detail this body sitting in the center of the dogong. The features of the body that I'd like to detail are completely hidden by the other bodies in the file, so I'll need to create a drawing view that only shows this individual body. For this view, I'm going to use the Select Bodies method, which is probably the simplest of the three methods that I'll be showing in this video. I start by inserting a drawing view of the multi-body part with the desired orientation, in this case a right view. Then from the property manager I click the select bodies button. This brings me to the part file where SolidWorks is asking me to select all the bodies that I'd like to include in the drawing view. I simply select the one body I want and hit OK. Now the drawing view shows only the body that I selected. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, this is the simplest method I'll be showing. I can quickly add in a projected view to the side here, and even use model items to import some dimensions onto the views, making sure I utilize selected feature so I don't get dimensions from the hidden bodies. Next up, I'd like to detail this large body near the base of the model. Once again, its features are obstructed, so I'll need to create a drawing view that only shows the individual body. For this one, I'll use a second method, which is the display state method. To get this to work, I start by actually hiding all of the bodies I don't want to include in the view. In this case, it's more efficient to simply isolate the body I want, which of course hides all of the others. Now I can save this as a display state from the isolate window, or of course, this could also be done using the normal technique for creating a display state from the configuration manager. I'll give it a name and exit the isolate. The new display state can be accessed in the configuration manager, and I can activate it by double clicking on it. I'll go back to the default though to get things back to normal. Then I will head back into the drawing file. I'll start by inserting a view of the entire part with my desired orientation, which will be a front view. Then, from the property manager, I can choose the display state that only has the one body showing, and just like that, I've done it. I'd like to detail the inside of this body, and so I'll set my display style to hidden lines visible and create a section view. At first, it shows the section view with the original display style and all bodies visible. But when I rebuild, it updates to be the display style that I just created and only with the one body showing. You may now see the drawbacks of this method, as remnants of the hidden bodies are difficult to ignore, such as the drawing view bounding box being massive relative to the actual body being shown, the edge previews for hidden bodies displaying whenever I hover over them, and the section line being extremely long initially. I need to be especially careful to not accidentally select a hidden body when using model items here. For this third and final individual body drawing view, I would like to detail this angled body shown here. Due to the angle the body sits at, using either of the previous techniques would not produce desirable results. To make this clear, I'm first going to do this using the select bodies method. The issue may not be clear yet, but when I try to project a view over to the side, you'll see how this view is not oriented how we would like it to be. In situations such as this one, it is best to use the third and final method for creating a drawing view of an individual body, 
which is a relative view. Relative views create a drawing view of a model and orient it relative to selected faces or planes. And they're useful when there is not an existing view orientation available to achieve the desired view of a model or body, such as is the case here. To get started, I'll launch the relative view command, and it takes me back to the part file, where I can choose whether I want this relative view to contain the entire part or only selected bodies. For this view, I'll go with selected bodies and choose the body that I want. To describe the new view orientation I am looking for, I need to provide a first and a second orientation selection. I am able to choose what side of the body each orientation will describe by selecting the desired side from the dropdown. Just like a cube has six sides, I'm able to select from six different options. For my first orientation, I'll choose front. And then I just need to select a face or a plane that is parallel to the front side of my body. In this case, that'll just be the front face. For the second orientation, I'll choose bottom and select the bottom face of the body. And then I'll hit OK. Then it takes me back to the drawing file and has me place the view on the sheet. And that's it. I've now got a new drawing view that shows my individual body in an orientation that I couldn't have created without this tool. I'll finish up by projecting a view, and before I use model items, I'll create a couple detail views as I know that these features have a lot of dimensions on them. This detail drawing is far from complete, as this part will need many more drawing views that show several different individual bodies. But at this point, I've shown all three methods available to you. So to summarize, first I used the select bodies method, which I find to be the simplest and most robust. However, one downside is that select bodies is only available for multi-body parts and will not work for assemblies. Then I used the display state method where I hid all the bodies that I didn't want to be shown, save that as a display state, and created a drawing view that uses that new display state. The downsides of this method are graphical issues such as previews of hidden edges, a large bounding box, and section lines, and also if I were to add any new bodies to the part file after creating this view, I would have to edit the display state to hide those new bodies, as they will be made visible by default in all display states including this one. Finally, I used the relative view method, where I not only selected an individual body to be included in the drawing view, but also used the body's geometry to describe a new view orientation that didn't exist initially to create the view that I wanted. One downside is that, just like with the first method, we are only given the option to select individual bodies if working within a multi-body part, whereas with an assembly, the relative view will always be the entire assembly. And that's it. In today's video, we showed three methods for creating a drawing view of an individual body. With these methods, you'll be able to easily and efficiently detail all the hidden features of your multi-body part files. Thanks for watching.